Hi guys, uh, Gigi here. Today uh, I'm going to make a very short video on how to repair the DSG7 uh, DQ200 with the uh, tri clutch, uh, where the main problem is the cracked um, accumulator valve body where the oil slips out and you will lose pressure. Uh, in the past, I've done this uh, video um, where I removed the whole. Uh, valve body uh, housing um, and that means you have to take the unit apart uh, you have to dismantle it and change the, the housing um, now I got a sent a kit from uh, Kinergo a repair kit a new kit the version uh, the second version of this uh, repair kit where the repair sh should take uh, less time than, uh, than, than before um, it's, it's an improved kit and I will show you how, uh, how to install this, this kit on the, on the DQ200 mechatronic unit. So as I said, this uh, kit was sent to me by Kinergo and it looks something like this. It's a very, uh, very small package. Uh, and we will open it together and uh, I'll show you what, uh, what it contains. So as I said, this is the second version of the kit that they make. Uh, let's open it together. You can see their side here. I don't know if it can focus. Kinega.eu It's sealed, I didn't open it before So I never tried this kit before I'm going to open it And see what's inside You will have some warning instructions here Let's see, the accumulator is under the high pressure. Observe safety precautions when replacing in the, in the system. May also be under high pressure. And then it's unreadable. So I will put it aside. In fact, I will take some uh, gloves. Let's open the bag. and see what we have inside. So as you can see, this is a new oil accumulator. And this is the housing. And the holes are pre-made for you. You can see the holes where the screws are, are going to, to sit. Okay. And that's it. Well, I'm a bit... Ah, no. Also on the bottom, you can see there is an O-ring gasket that will seal the, the, the pressure. So this kit, it's very easy to install and uh, I will show you now this is the cover that we have to, uh, to remove I have some screws here to we'll take it out and the accumulator will be here so I need to remove the screws first so we removed the cover and this is the part you need to replace this is the oil accumulator the old one uh, this is the new one and this is the base you are going to place down under and why because this housing uh, will crack down here you are not you cannot see it from here you have to take it out you have so you have to take out the whole uh, housing to see it on this version you can see like a little bit darker line here that means this is cracked if you don't know that this is cracked 
you'll think, ah, oh, hmm, this is good, uh, no problem, I can install it back, but it's not. I can assure you this is cracked here. You can see a very thin line. It's a fracture. Maybe it's not completely cracked, but it's definitely on the way. This is not cracked, this is okay. You can see there is no line, no mark, no nothing on, on, this, uh, on this body. This is the old version without any pronunciations and this one is the new version where you have some pronunciations on, on, on the valve body. I don't know if, it's, uh, if you can see it or not. You can see it has some perturbations here. Yeah, that means it's they try to reinforce it so it doesn't crack, but still some of them crack. So we have to remove the oil accumulator and then place the the one from the kit inside. Mm -hmm. These are usually a pain in the ass to open if they are still have some pressure on it. And then I will try to see. Uh, we got lucky. Remember, before you open this and you try to change things, you have to drain the oil. You have a small plug here you have to remove and then you can drain the oil. So this is the oil accumulator and then we have to remove three screws here in the bottom. One, let's see, uh, one, two, three, and then place the part that came with the with your packet. These three screws out, short ones. We have the Now, let's see, we have to adjust so the holes fit. It will only fit in one position, so don't, don't worry. Just turn it until you can see the screws for the holes align and other screws align too. So, we're going to place back the screws. Yeah. So, as you can see, they will only align in one position and here the two small holes that uh, will conduct the oil. Now it's tight and we are going to place the accumulator. As Kinego didn't supply me with a special tool key to close this one, I am going to close it by hand, hand tight, and voila! So this saved you a lot of time. The old kit you had to um, drill some special holes in the part that goes inside the accumulator. This new kit, it's uh, thought much better just place it in put the screws already drilled and everything is prepared put the screws in tie them put the oil uh, and you're done this is the old this is the new so this is the repair using the Kinergo uh, version 2 of the repair kit it takes a fraction of the time that the uh, 
the old kit takes and it takes also a fraction of the time uh, that is necessary when you remove the whole uh, uh, housing because you see all these screws have to be taken out all the the oil pump the um, pistons that push the, the the clutches and everything has to be dismantled from the old and put to the new and then reinstalled and, and on so long so yeah if you want to save a lot of time yeah this is a, a very good option so um, you saw that installing the the version 02 of this uh, repair kit from Kinergo takes a fraction of the time that uh, it would take to change the whole valve uh, body housing and the oil accumulator housing um, the first kit uh, you had to drill the holes yourself you had to measure you it, yeah it was a pain to, to install uh, that's why I never made a video with it I uh, I had a kit uh, installed uh, it took me too much time and I decided not not to do it not to, to make a video for YouTube with it uh, this kit instead it's just plug and play click click done uh, job job complete so um, if you want to save uh, a lot of time uh, you would go with uh, with the kit from from Kinergo if um, you don't have the budget to, to buy the Kinergo kit and uh, you want to save uh, save the difference which is about 130 euros from the, the valve uh, valve body housing and um, uh, the Kinergo kit yeah you will buy a valve body housing and uh, and you will replace that but that that will take a lot longer time than, than to change the uh, just the oil accumulator so for um, people who want to save time uh, go with the Kinergo for people that want to save money go with the valve uh, body housing uh, change so Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time guys.